This is the Thumper bike, the TB50. It uses a four-stroke Tecumseh engine, which makes four horsepower and is 172 cc's. It has a baseball bat for a muffler with holes drilled in it. It is belt drive and chain drive. This coupling here is a plumbing coupling with some pieces of plywood bolted to the side. Not exactly waterproof, but this is a prototype after all. The second speed doesn't quite work properly yet, but this is a work in progress. This is the first gear clutch. Just tightens up a belt around the double rim for first gear. Second gear is powered entirely through this pulley and this chain. The kickstand wasn't big enough so some copper pipes were hammered on to make it a bit longer so that it actually stays up. This whole thing is very janky at the moment. Held together with a lot of gear clamps in weird places but again it's a work in progress. See this? Yeah that too. That could be better. Second gear is activated with this brake handle which is at a in really inconvenient spot. It pulls on this lever which tightens up the second gear belt. There's some sort of alignment issue and whenever second gear is engaged the first gear belt pops off. Don't know what that's all about. We'll see. Might just scrap that second gear thing. Not really necessary. It's fun though. This whole two speed thing doesn't work out. My ideas were just to scrap the second speed and add a centrifugal clutch right there with a bigger pulley and just have the one speed. Or just delete the second gear, add a bigger pulley to the first gear and use that with a manual clutch because manual clutches are more fun. Right now since only first gear works it only goes up to around 35 kilometers per hour hitting the engine's red line. Uh, although it gets to 35 pretty quickly because of how much torque that thing makes. Plans also include replacing this stupid Tecumseh carburetor with a even carburetor. That's why I call it the thumper. Here's hoping that it won't end up like that last disaster. Yeah, that one. If I can work out all the kinks and this pans out perfectly, this truly will be one of the best bikes under the sun.